Okay, in this one, we're going to determine where you should check amp draw for the compressor on the air conditioner. Now, there's three wires going to the compressor. There's a start, there's a run, and a common. You need to determine which one is the common wire. If you check amperage on the start winding, you'll get a lower amperage. If you start it on run winding, you'll also get a lower amperage. But if you check it on the common, you'll get the total amp draw of the compressor and the compressor only. So we've got some wires here. Uh, this, uh, your wires coming in are down here. We're not concerned about those. We're concerned about the ones going to the compressor. That's going to be the ones that are downstream of the uh, co contactor. Okay, so there's uh, two we probably have to consider. There is a red and there is a black with a blue stripe. The other wire is a start. That's the one just below, right down there. That, because it's a smaller wire, it's a lower amperage draw. So let's see if we can determine which one of these is common. Now for this, we're going to go to the diagram of the unit. Okay, we've got two diagrams here. We've got a wiring diagram and we have a schematic. I'm going to use the wiring on this one because it's a little easier to tell. That's one, this one right here. Okay, here's the compressor right here, CPR. And we're going to be looking at these, uh, these three wires going to it. Okay, the common, C, that's the one up above, is BKBL black with a blue stripe. Okay, that's the one we're looking for. The other ones, the red right here, RD, if you look close, you can see it is going to the run winding, and the orange OR is going to the start. So what I'm going to look for is that black with a blue stripe wire. Okay, looking back in the control panel, there's our wire. That's the one we're looking for. Now I'm going to start this beast up, and we'll check amp draw. Okay, the unit is running. I've got the meter set in the amps, and I know which one to clamp. I'm going to clamp this one right here. And we're showing 9.94 amps. Now, if I was to clamp the red wire, that's the run winding. You can see I have a lower amp draw. Now, I'm not going to clamp the uh, start because it's kind of hard to get to. And, there's no real point. But anyway, that is your amp draw. So let's go back here. Is this amp draw too high, too low, what? Well, there is a way you can get an idea of what the amp draw should be, at least the maximum. You can compare that to the model plate. It'll have a running load amps on there. It almost never will be that high but that is pretty much the max that it can run at. Anyway, pretty simple. Always find the common lead to the compressor to check the amp draw. That's it on this one.